Well, Mary, I do have a little, I have, I, I can tell you some truth. And, and this is about as honest as I can possibly get with you, okay? The truth is, hon, you're an idiot. That's the truth. You're a full-blown, full-raging idiot. You're an idiot. And that's the truth. Now, this isn't even for you, so you can go on about your business. I have been really busy, and I just checked in, and I'm just laughing. Because you, you, I have to, I mean, I'm cleaning out this cabinet, and it's not cleaning it out, but I'm organizing it a little better. And the table's full. The house is empty. I got to go up in the attic. I got a lot to do. And it just amazes me how much you think I'm doing it when I'm doing nothing. I don't, I tr tried to explain this to you before, so I'm not going to bother to do it again. But I am going to share it for the others, the other people that, that, that don't know. You know, some of the newer people. There is no family lawyer. I've explained this before. And if you missed it, I'm, or maybe you weren't around then, but I'll explain it again. I think sometime last year, I had just got, you know, it is, it's only been me. When she says the family... It, she's talking about me by myself. It's just me. And I, I don't know. I think she needs it to be plural. Just like she needed the pink ladies to be plural. So it's, it, she just, she needed the plural. So anyhow, there is no they. I, I keep wondering who they are unless they're the voices in her head. I'm not sure. But there is no they. And, and this whole family lawyer, there's never been a family lawyer. We weren't that kind of family. We were, <laughs> Listen, we were poor people. We did not have family lawyer. The lawyers that I was trying to explain to her, this one day I told her, I'm done defending everybody. You know, everybody she attacked online, you know, family members that had no idea that they were being tore apart online. You know, and I was just dealing with it because I didn't want to, I don't want to involve and cause any more hurt in the family that's already been done. And, you know, I live in a whole different state. I haven't spoke to any of them. I probably never will again. It, it you know, it's, she can thank herself for that one. She, she done pretty good on tearing apart a pretty strong family. When I say family, I'm referring to my immediate family right here and, and the rest of you guys online. She is not related to me. It's a shame, it's a disgrace, it's an embarrassment, it's everything you could possibly imagine to have her related to, to me, period, much less anybody else. But there, when I told her that I was done, that I would be giving a, one family member all the, the whatever I had here, that they could go over it and they could make a decision as far as those in their immediate family, what they wanted to do with it. They could sue her if they wanted to. They could do whatever they want. As for me, I said, I will remain on YouTube because that just seems to really bother her that I won't go away and let her do what she's been doing all this time. She just she just draws on different things. To, she's just gotten out of hand. She's out of control. So... And when I said that, I forget about her intelligence level. But the, that family, which married into our family and created a child that she talked about terribly, and I figured the best one to give it to was him, the father. So I did. His mother was an attorney. I, don't, I just, this is what I said. I'm sure there's others by now because it's been years. They, you know, most families, that's what they do. If if one was an attorney, there's usually several more. That is what was said. I never said it was our attorney, and there is no drug dealing attorney. She just makes it up as she goes along. And if she can find them, good luck to her. I mean, I, I'd like to meet them. But there is none for the rest, the rest of you. There's There never was, okay? My sister and I had went and saw a lawyer, after my mother passed and we took everything we could get, everything that we had in our, you know, with us, you know, that included the living will, which 
She doesn't understand what a living will is. And I, you know, I hate to break it to her, but she was not even mentioned in there because you don't, that's not where you do that at. You know, most, and all of us know, with the exception of her, a living will is void at the time of death. You name someone to take care of your affairs if you become incapacitated. She doesn't get it, so I don't even try to explain it. It's, not, it's useless. Just let it go. <laughs> let her go, because she's just making a bigger fool out of herself. And it's amazing to me this all <laughs> erupted into this, um, whatever it is, because she, I guess it, you know, it's kind of that same, you know, this, what was, is it the straw that broke the camel's back? I guess the pink lady was just the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm not standing in her way. I'm not big enough to stand in her way. It is just me. I'm the one that you've been hearing. You know, if you see me in a chat, it is just me. There is not an army behind me. There is no other family. I don't even, I don't tell them anything. They don't know anything. I don't contact anyone. The last person that I had talked to was her mother and her sister. And as for anyone else, I haven't. And and most of them are gone. In the last year, pretty much everybody has passed away. Um, so I, you know, like I said, she needs to get her a psychic that can talk to dead people. When she gets there, that ought to be her first choice. But she'll have plenty of time once she realizes that. And uh, I, I really encourage her to go. And I would encourage anyone else to encourage her to please go see my ex-husband's. She says there's 10, which we know she lies with every breath she takes. There's not 10. There's one in Jacksonville. And that's the one I hope she goes and visits. Because he's mean as a rattlesnake. <laughs> and and I would love to... I hope she... Maybe she'll live stream it. Because it sure would make my day. Because I... I I can oh I I can't even imagine what he would be like about now. And then the other one's down in Tampa. She's gonna have to make a run to Tampa. But I could save her a trip if she wanted. I could fix it where he could talk to her on Messenger or something because him and I are still good, very good friends actually. We we have we we have we're good friends. We're, we never did have any arguments or anything, um, which is you know how we. It, that's another day and another time. And then my current husband is also an ex-husband. And I know she just just rolling over to talk to him. You know, I'm sure. And I here's what I really want her to do is ask him all about child support. Because, you know, she said that about me, that I just lived off of child support. But, you know, here's a real, here's a true fact that, you know, I haven't even, I haven't said because she's just not worth it. But since she's going, I really want her to, I want her to prove, <laughs> prove it, just prove it. Because you know what she's gonna find out? Child support, I received $35 and a bag of diapers. My children were my children. And I'm, if they, <laughs> listen, if the marriage didn't work and you don't wanna take care of anything, they're still my children. So I took care of my children. I, I did not go on any kind of public assistance. I went to work. Okay, I went to work. I never got child support. Like I said, I got one $35 money order and a bag of diapers. And yeah, that would be on record. So have at it, girl. Because all, you all you're doing is just showing that many more people what a lying fool you are. So you just go on out there because there's a lot of things I have not responded to because, you know, I was kind of hoping this day would come. Maybe you just go on down there or shut up one. I don't know which. But since you're going, I, I'm really encouraging you to go on all the way. And if you, and if you find more than 10, well, <laughs> if you find 10, I, I don't know where you find them. And that, again, would show you're a, pretty much a liar because you'd have to get somebody that I don't even know. If you want to go after an ex-boyfriend or something, that'll be a little difficult, too, because he's dead, too. Um, died in 2016. But he wouldn't have said nothing bad about me. You know. Mm -mm. In fact, I, 
can't imagine any of my exes would. Because you know what? I'm just not that kind of ex-wife. I wasn't, no, I'm not like that. And, and I never took nothing I didn't come in with. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm positive about that one. You can't trip me up or scare me. You don't scare me. And I hope you do go. I hope you hitchhike all the way or ride in a limousine. I don't really care how you get there. And I don't really care once you get there. And just, and, and one quick note though, this guy, I am flipping and flopping between you guys and her, but <clears throat> I just got to find out what she thinks in her mind, her school records or any records in Jacksonville can do to bother me. So she gets somebody to say she stinks. I've never denied she smelled. I've never denied she's lied. I've never denied she was involved in um, talking someone into, you know, in someone's existence. I've never denied any of that. I've never denied that I didn't, I've never denied nothing. I don't, I didn't like her father and I've said that before. He wasn't my, I wasn't gonna marry him. That was my sister and that was her life, her marriage. And I don't tell anyone's stories unless they tell me to or ask me to. You know, and what she's asked me to share, I shared. And as, as for that, it's over, it's done. Um, I'm going to just put this out there because those of you who have common sense will know what I mean. If, you know, my sister never lost custody of her children. In fact, she had custody of her grandchildren. I promise you, you do not, that does not happen if you are as she says you are. So, you know, and her just trashing is like saying, well, so they drank and there's like, uh, and she's been married 10 times. Well, you know what? If I have, I haven't. If I haven't, I mean, it's, just, it's really none of your business, period. But I haven't. And and, and I'm okay with that, and I'd be happy. And I I know I've talked about it before, you know, and I'm sure it's still out there in video somewhere. But you that that doesn't shame me. You, you're not shaming me. And as far as a record, I have I don't have a record. I have no record. I have never been to jail. I have never broke the law like that. I broke the law of speeding, and I've been lucky. I, I probably could have went to jail but for um, super speeder, but he lowered it down for me. And that was the last ticket I had, and that was um, coming back from seeing my mom. And, Lord, I think that was 97, 98. So, you know, go ahead, have fun. And, no, I'm not ashamed of anything at all. And if y'all want to know something, just ask me, because I'll be happy to tell you. I don't mind. You know, as long as it's mine to tell, I'll tell you. Y'all don't, I'm just scrolling around here because I look worse than my house at the moment. Because I have been really busy, and it just tickled me that she, she's she got me standing in front of, um, I guess, at the Florida Georgia line. I don't know. Trying to keep her from crossing over. I'm stopping her from the truth, and I'm trying to, I've been telling her the truth. She's an idiot. And I don't know any other way to say it anymore. Being kind and having compassion just does not work with her. You just can't can't have it. You just you can't even tell her the truth and her accept it. it. No matter how many times I've repeated these same things over and over, she still goes right back to it because she's a compulsive liar and she's repetitive at it. So y'all, let <laughs> I hope she does go. And if and if everybody does meet up for Disney, I'm in. I'm ready. I'm go. I'll go, I'll be there. I'll be there. And and it's gonna amaze you that someone my size could stand and stop her <laughs> from doing anything. I didn't stop her from going to California. I'm not gonna stop her to go back to Florida. Um, I think she's gonna find it a whole different kind of world down there. I know I did when I went recently. It's a bit, uh, that's another story, but it was um, shocking to me how much things have changed. So, but so let, let me just be clear, because I do ramble, and I apologize for that. It is only me. I am the so-called family, okay? I don't even share very much with anyone else here. I mean, every once in a while, I'll tell my husband, and, you know, he, he, just, he just can't stand her. He don't even, I mean, he don't, he don't give... A rat's behind if she's here, there, or 
under or in or up or above or whatever. And as far as my children, I don't involve them either. Now, you, I might mention it every once in a while because we're laughing at it because they've laughed at her for a long time. But they're not in this. This has nothing to do with them. They're good. They're good. And they have lives. Something she don't have any idea about. They work. They have homes. They have vehicles. They have insurance. They have bills to pay. They have children. They're busy. And that's kind of what I'm doing today is getting some things that, you know, Sarah's bought up and, and stored here. And I'm getting them and getting them over there, too. Or isn't that exciting? So I'm clearing up some space. That's what I've been doing. I'm not standing at the Florida Georgia line. Um, <laughs> just ain't got time for it. And I'm not shaking in my boots or, or socks at the moment. And and she's just coming up with them right and left. And what she's doing now is just mixing up the old with the new. I've cleared up this whole thing, you know, with everyone else. But the new people I know don't know. So anyhow, listen, y'all want to know something? Jump on over there and ask me. And if you got something you want to say to her, because she has blocked you for any reason, you just come on over and, and say it in my comments. Because as you can tell, she's in them. She's, she's screenshotting like she thinks they don't nobody know that. So y'all just come on over and say what you need to say. Um, I won't take it down. I won't remove it. Because that's what I'm here for. That's why I came. Was because she kept blocking me when I asked her to stop. So, y'all come on over. That's what I'm around for. All right, I don't want no one else to get in trouble for anything. That's why I'm here. So, y'all just come on over and if you got something safe to her, say it because she blocks everybody. Um, that doesn't agree with her. So, guys, I'll talk to you later. If I, I get a minute, um, there was something I was going to tell y'all. It was kind of funny. I did want to say, you know, the other night when being in chat um, with Royal was just so much fun. In fact, I woke up the next day, kind of yesterday, kind of hung over like I'd been drinking. It was just fun. It was just really enjoyable. It was, the, you know, just hearing someone laugh like that and just having, um, it was fun. And I really appreciate it because I sure needed it, not because of her. It's all the things that I worry about here. So y'all uh, y'all continue to have a good day. And like I said, if you have a question, just ask me. I'll try to make a video. It's easier for me because I, I type so slow. You know, I'm, I'm old. I'm not a good typer, okay? But I'll talk to you later. And y'all just be good, be safe, and think about everything.